everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. These videos are what I'm calling bonus videos. So they're just little short, very easy tutorials, just showing you some other little things that I make that sometimes I think, should I do a tutorial? No, I won't, blah, blah, blah. So this one I've had for a while and I've never done a tutorial, but now I want to do a Christmas version. And basically it's a little, well, not little, it's quite a nice size actually, but this is a fridge memo pad. So it's got a nice magnetic sheet on the back really strong chipboard and then I've just created this fun scene and I've just stamped don't forget and it's a really thick memo pad here just plain and um, we've got a pen pot by our fridge anyway so I didn't feel the need to put a little thing to keep the pen on here but by all means you can add that um, but yeah this is what we're going to make it's really really simple to do and these would also be nice for craft fair ideas you can pick up these pads I mean I've got this here in China just in a, in a like the pound shop equivalent but I know you can get quite a few pads like you can buy blocks of them you know maybe five in a pack and this is just already pre die cut pieces that I had lying around but if you imagine them in a little cello bag with a nice pen I think they'd make nice little craft fair gifts and certainly nice little stocking stuffers and things like that as well so all you need is about this here I've got some chipboard so again this is just from the back of my paper packs it's about yeah one mil that one is and then I've got a magnetic sheet now this is an A4 sheet and I've then I cut them down to five by five and I did have some you can probably just see it there I said I had some oval um, dies but I've had now moved them onto another one and this was free so I just yeah I thought I'd use this one so whatever patch size you have so I've got this piece here on top which I actually want to remove so I'm just going to trim that off there. Okay, I've just got rid of that top piece. And then I need to draw around the pad because you want your magnet to cover the whole back. Now I've just put a cross there because this is the side that isn't magnetic. So this is the side that is going to stick to the back of the pad. This is the magnetic side. So what I would say is go and check on your fridge. Just pop your sheet on the fridge and check which side does obviously stick. But for the minute it doesn't matter because I'm just tracing around. But fortunately this A5 length um, width is the exact length of the pad that I'm using. You don't want to see the magnet so just you know come in a little bit shy. So I'm just going to draw a pencil line there. You can cut this through your trimmer. This does cut, but I've got my big scissors here. So I'm just going to do two nice big cuts and then that's done. So there we go. And again, I'll just put a cross just so I remember. So I've got, again, if you're getting A4 and you've got these little, what size pad is this actually? It's a four by, uh, four by five, isn't it? Yeah, four by five. You could get, um, four sheets of these magnetic, um, you could get four of these cut from one of your magnetic sheets. So already, you know, and you can pick these up, you can get them in the pound shops, you can get them on eBay, you can get them from a lot of craft suppliers, you can, you know, because people use them as their magnetic shims as well. So there's, yeah, lots and lots of ways to, and then I can just pop that on the back there and you can see it covers, I've gone a little bit curved there, but I'm not too worried, you're not going to see any of this, but as long as you can't see any of the magnetic strip then that is fine then with your chipboard you want to again make it the same size but you want to come up so I'm just going to do the width here and just do a pencil mark and first of all um, I'm going to just cut that all the way up so I'm just going to use my ruler here and I've got my old blade in here because I was already making a mini album so let's just cut that chipboard like so and it depends, it's entirely up to you how much overhang you want so that is now going to perfectly sit on the back in fact I think that's the right amount to have as an overhang because this is what I'm going to start building my scene up on this so if you see here, this piece here, that's that piece there Okay, so you're going to stick this down first on the back there so I'm going to apply glue all to the back of this piece okay so I'm just going to sit that over see I still use pen and paper I've got you know smartphone and my husband laughs because he uses his phone for everything so but for me especially in the kitchen if I have just cooked a meal and then I've used the last of the pasta the last of the cheese the last of the milk straight away I have to write it on something and usually it's just a scrappy bit of you know post-it note that's next to the fridge and I thought no I'm going to make something nicer 
and I thought it would be nice to have a Christmas one because there's so much to remember during Christmas so that's what I've done. So now that is nice and secure and then your magnetic sheet with the cross with the, the negative side will then sit over the top like so. Now I'm going to use double sided my strong red double sided tape for this piece. Now if you want to tidy that up and put something else on there you can but you, <laughs> you're not going to see it at all and not, nobody's going to come in my house and take my memo pad off my fridge and investigate it so <laughs> I'm really not worried about that. Okay so for this one here I use the Rosie Studio Soul and Shine and the stamp here is the alphabet labeler from Stamping Up which I think is still going it is just a, a good all rounder so you know there are some things from Stamping Up that you know um, don't retire like quickly they, they keep going and I think I do think that is still going. Okay so what I have here is I recently purchased um, well I did when this went out um, these ones here so this is cozy and bright by Pebbles Inc um, American Crafts and these are all your little um, what do they actually call them printed cardstock shapes so they're just two different kind of themes this is another one this is cozy and bright again Pebbles Inc so I don't know why they're both called the same though because they are different unless they just have quite a few um, you know sets but I prefer this one because I like the little gnomes but this is why I like this project because it's just it's easy it's quick so you want to choose you can see what I've done there kind of just got larger pieces on the outside done some nice bits along the bottom and then just started kind of sticking it and then they end up being stuck on each other so at the top here I mean the rainbow and that green leaf and stuff they're not even stuck to that they're actually stuck just on you know the other pieces so just start creating you know fun little scenes you know you might want to stamp some images and die cut them but these are just so cute I think I'm gonna have like the big house in the middle oh, there's another one there as well now maybe I'll have that house in the middle look like you've got a fun toadstool I just I like to look at this and the nice thing about this memo pad is this one will go away and there's no way I'm gonna go through all of that you know through the month of December so I'll have it again for next year and you know I can create create something again or you know keep this one going so there you go that's the one I wanted to use so I'm going to have him on one side you don't want you want to make sure it covers all the chipboard you don't want to see any of that so I'm going to have him there the house will go in the middle then you've got a funny look Christmas sloth how cool he's going to look really fun kind of up the top there so I might have him that, that way and then you've got the nice flowers as well but basically the aim is to completely cover the chipboard and have that kind of fan effect. Okay, so I'm going to have a little play around here. Enjoy it, have fun. You know, I love all these lovely little creatures. Although, look at him as well. Oh, look, maybe I could have one on each side. Who knows? Right, leave me to it and I will see what I come up with. Okay, so it's going to be something like that. None of, none of it's stuck down yet, so I'm just going to... The base pieces will be stuck with wet glue and then some bits are actually on foam as well so you have a bit of dimension so like this little guy here and maybe the bird you know him they're all going to be kind of lifted as well so you just then want to get it all stuck down. Okay so that is what I've done. I love it. How cool is that? That just looks so nice to look at now on my fridge and yeah. If you did want to add a pencil then just like somewhere to pop it like maybe you want to sit it like above here what you can do is just get some cardstock and then if you obviously there's a pencil for example just kind of wrap it around and then you want to stick those together and then you will fold it in half. in fact I might as well just do one so because I've done something similar in the past so just fold it in half like so Keep the pencil in there if you want just to make sure so it keeps its nice shape like so and then just fold it to one side like so so there's my pencil stuck in it and then you know I'm going to end up using this now aren't I because <laughs> they've just got this random piece just trim it off so it's nice and neat and then you can stick it on the top of your thing and then your pencil just sits like so okay so that's the easiest way to do it 
obviously once your paper goes down that will end up becoming thinner and thinner. The other option is just to have some um, ribbon and have your pencil attached to the ribbon and just kind of dangling down the side. But like I said we've got a pen pot so and most people do anyway. And I've also realised that the reason I had brought both of these is because this is all the messages, this is all your sentiments and this is all the images. So on here you, they all match, you've got really really fun you know the flowers are the same and look at these beautiful snow globes so I'll share all the links, these are from Thompson's Craft Supplies um, look at that one there with the house let it snow, we're staying home and it's got so much sparkle on all of these and they're, they're great, look you've got pre-made gift tags lovely little toppers for cards look at that one there, cup of cheer look there's the sloth again eat, sleep and be merry how cute are they? so yeah, that's the two packs so like I said I'll share all of those for you but there you have it, two really fun, one festive, one all, you know, any time of year. But you can change these up, obviously going in, you know, um, for spring, summer, autumn and then winter again. I think they will look really, really fun. But I do love that. And it's so full and, yeah, happy. There you have it. I hope you've enjoyed this quick little, like I said, bonus tutorials. There will be a few more. And if you have, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see more. Thanks for watching. Bye.